went to plate transfer. This is the plate we use. Uh, the plates that we use are almost store inverted to avoid condensation and avoid further contamination when we incubate microorganisms. A proper way to pick up a plate is to slide it all the way to the edge. Grab it with your hands and you're gonna have to do some chopstick mo motion <laughs> which uh, I like to hold it with my my thumb in place and with my index finger use this as leverage to open the plate inside the aseptic zone which is the only place in which this plate should be open all right let me close it put it down first thing we do also is label when we label the plate we want it label in the bottom part of the lid of the plate not the lid and i will explain why later i'm going to label on the edge around the plate i do that so i don't block the view of my results with the microorganism i'm going to do my complete info which is 1231 107 my date which is september 14 2017 my initials and in this case because of what we're doing uh we have three separate a species of bacteria in this plate so I'm going to draw uh, I'm going to uh, spread my bacteria into split my plate into three spaces and in here on each space I'm going to label which species of bacteria I'm going to use to recognize where this bacteria is now if you notice, it doesn't matter where I move this lid, the label stays in place. Should have I labeled the lid, if I rotate, then the label will rotate itself, and then we won't, uh, we won't know which position is the correct one. Furthermore, if we label the lid, the lid can be separated from whatever it's inside. And if we're working with a, a, a pathogen that needs to be confined, if we separate that label from that petri dish, it could be very dangerous. So, label, we keep it where the agar is. All right, let me demonstrate the slant to plate transfer. For this one, I'm gonna put this a little closer and I'm gonna start my transfer. Let me explain. It's the same basic concept. Uh, so one difference is we cannot have the plate and uh, the slant at the same time as we did with the slant to slant transfer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the source first. So incubate our loop and then go ahead and uh, transfer it to our plate. All right. So I'm going to do a second one explaining the uh, proper procedure. First, we're going to secure the source tube into our hand where we can manipulate it with our finger. Uh, so, grab my loop, sterilize. With the best of our ability, maintaining the loop inside the, uh, the, the septic zone, sterilize the source tube, grab bacteria, Sterilize before we close. Close it. Put away my source tube. 
a cup keeping my uh, loop inside the septic zone pick up my plate rotate it to the proper uh, opening open it inside the aseptic zone and gently spreading the bacteria on top of the agar closing my plate putting it back in my bench and finally sterilizing my food a last time all right this is a proper slant to play print third live demo before you guys go to work is a isolation for streaking so isolation for streaking is just a, mo a modified slant to play transfer we are going to start with that so we're gonna go ahead and do a proper label I'm going to put the technique on this one because this is what my objective is and I'm doing a streaking of Micrococcus rosei plus Micrococcus juniors. All right, now, what we want to do for this technique is to split our plate into quadrants. Not four quadrant, well, not quadrants on, on squares if, if we want to see it this way, but what we're going to do is we're going to divide it on quadrants on the edge of the plates. So this is going to be quadrant one, then we'll have a second quadrant that is touching quadrant one, a third quadrant that is touching quadrant two, and a fourth quadrant that is going to be around the middle of the plate. Now, that division, you can keep it in your mind, but if you feel more comfortable, you can actually number it in your plate if you wish. So one, two, my third quadrant is going to be here, and this is where my fourth quadrant is going to be. Now, what we want to do in this technique is to thin out the amount of bacteria so we can obtain the separation of this colonies that started by